What's going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video. I'm already super tired. This box was so freaking big and heavy, over 50 pounds. But here it is. The box, at least. The Lycan Bust. So, I've been eyeballing this bad boy on eBay. Like, had the alert set that if anything under ECC Lycan Bust came up on eBay... Uh, I would get alerted. So it's always those freaking Italy and France and Slovakia people wanting 5000 which I'm never going to pay, by the way. No statue's worth that much money. But someone local in the States who wasn't super greedy threw it up for $3,000. So I got number 22 of 500. We'll check this out later. But yeah, they threw it up for three grand. And I'm like, okay, I can work with that. Message them, see if they could go lower because I was closer to them, they're California. And they ended up agreeing 2,500 chips. And I'm like, because that was always what I wanted to pay was 2,500 is like max I would pay for this. I don't think it's worth three grand. But I'm like, 2500 were a go. It's so freaking heavy, I don't want to put it on the table. I'm just going to take it out from here. So, I have never seen this in person. I do not know what this looks like. But I'm very excited because I've always wanted this. I have the Lycan one-third, the Marcus one-third, the Marcus bust. This is the final piece I need to complete my ECC Underworld setup. It's going to go right here. Oh, mama. Oh. The base is very heavy. I absolutely love ECC products. And if you're unfamiliar, ECC stands for Elite Creature Collectibles. They specialize in creature statues. This is number 22 of 500. There's also 500 Marcus Bus in the world. So, the base is extremely similar to Marcus. However, slightly different paint but very, very, very similar, if not the exact same. But this only says Underworld, where that one says Underworld Evolution. Alrighty. Um, I'm actually gonna go sanitize my hand real quick before I touch this. I don't like touching statues unless my hands have been cleaned and freshly sanitized. I've been touching the box, carrying it downstairs. This box is so heavy, I just slid it down the steps. It's so big and heavy because you saw how big the art box was, and then there's a brown shipper, which is actually holding my cell phone right now. Oh yeah, this thing's huge. Okay. Good weight to it. Oh. And here we have it. The lichen bust. I'm gonna mess with this hair, set it up, look it over, but how awesome is freaking this? So cool. So we're gonna set it up, see how it is. Oh. 
Alrighty, YouTubers. So in typical fashion, we're gonna show the Lycan bus up on top of a 50 inch tall Stuva next to some one thirds and other life size bus. My Reaper, which is also made by ECC and my custom Pennywise bust. Now this Lycan bus stands approximately 30 inches tall. It is quite beastly, especially because its mouth protrudes forward, you know, having that, you know, werewolf, it is a very large bust and it's very heavy as well. I would say it weighs at least 25 to 30 pounds when I picked it up and put it up there. So very, very big, uh, you know, and it looks pretty much identical to the one third, but larger scaled, slightly different the way the hair is styled. I noticed on this one, it's more of like, almost like an Afro where it's up, you know, and it's made this way using uh, like hairspray. And I actually really like that look. Uh, where this one is just flat back. Uh, it also seems like he has more hair on the top of his head versus this one, it's really just that little part. There's no hair on this side or that side where there is with this one. It goes all, all the way to the ear. So if we look at this one uh, by HCG, this one is basically identical to that one. So I'm not gonna mess with the hair or anything. It is. Uh, this is how it looks in the proto picture, so I'm going to keep it like that. I'm not going to try to style it or anything. Uh, but this is a beastly piece. It is huge and heavy and looks awesome. So, you know, in typical fashion, I do want to compare it to the one-third, which is a newer piece compared to the bus. The bus is much older. Uh, where this one-third was the most recent, uh, the one-third in the Marcus bust. So if you look at the skin detail in the one-third, you can see how it looks. So in this one, yeah, so I freaking love lichens. I swear they're so freaking badass. Uh, but then look at this one, monster big. So it has this skin texture, as you can see, very similar to the one third, it's just larger so you can see it a little bit better, but it's basically like tons of millions of little cracks. And then it has that vein look all throughout the entire bust, which is exactly how this one is. If you look at the body up close, there's vein work all throughout. And I love the design of that. And then you can see like the collarbone, the muscles, the big traps. You know, he's a muscular beast. He is not no wimpy creature. And they definitely portray the muscles and everything on this. You know, you figure a lichen in real life, this thing could definitely eat me and kill me instantly. So very, very big bust. It feels very big, you know, especially like when comparing it to the Reaper or Pennywise. When I'm up close to this, I'm like, shiz, that is huge. So very big. Uh, so that's just my general overall impressions. It's freaking awesome and I love it. Uh, but let's check out this base. So it's very similar to the Marcus base where it has this vampire theme on here. Uh, so it looks good. You know, it's very simplistic. It has the nameplate Underworld, you know, and I'm a fan of having these type of nameplates, you know, like the blade. I, I think it's classy and it looks good. And this has more of a bronze, black, brown, just tons of different colors all throughout. But it's pretty much identical to this one where this one just says Underworld Evolution. You know, because that's what Marcus is from, where a lichen can be from any of the films, really, because he's in all the films, where Marcus is technically only in, like, I mean, in that form, just one movie, really. So, the base, simple, but it matches Marcus, which I really like, and it's just classy looking. Uh, then we come up to the body, you know, and it's quite a wide bust, I'd have to measure it, but if I was to guess, I would say at least 20 to 22 inches wide. Like I said, it's about 30 inches tall. And this just has extreme texture. Like when you look at the up close detail, I mean, there is just so much work. You can even see like this, is that a, like a bone <laughs> chest piece? There's the little nipple, as you can see right there on both sides. So they do have the nipple. And this uh, just cuts off right here at the shoulders. There's nothing on the back side. It's similar to the other bus of ECC where it's really just black and nothing there. So it's not like a complete, you know, back part of the bust. I mean, it would be cool to have that, but it'll also make it much bigger and more expensive. And you're really not looking at the back part anyways. 
this is the beauty shot is seen up just like that. So the body looks great. The paint and sculpt look amazing. You know, it's just like the one third, but just bigger and better. So very, very cool, crazy texture work. So obviously, if you're just looking at that, it looks cool. But when you see the face, that is what everything is all about when it comes to the lichen. Just looking at that incredibly cool looking face, that roar, the real hair. Uh, so obviously the mouth is one of the most important features. So the tongue has a lot of texture work as well as like black and different shades of red and pink. It's semi-glossy, not as glossy as it could be. It looks like I need to do some dusting on this bad boy. Uh, but the teeth, they look acrylic. They look very well done, you know, just like the one third. I'm not 100% sure if it's acrylic, but it does look acrylic and it looks very realistic. I would say it could be slightly more glossy. I may gloss this up myself. Uh, Cause if you look at the one third, look at that tongue in the mouth. I think this is just a little bit glossier. So I may gloss up the teeth and the tongue and the mouth. Cause I think that would improve it a little bit. Uh, so otherwise it looks absolutely fantastic. And then you have this hair, which is hand punched. You know, you can see it individually inside. So what are the differences between like hand punched and other styles of hair? Uh, if you look at, for example, the Prime One Pennywise Half Scale, that hair is not hand punched. It's basically on a netting and then the netting is glued to the statue. But when you do hand punched, you know, obviously it's much more time consuming when to individually insert each hair. You know, like look at the Pennywise right there. You see that? I don't see a netting because it's actually individually put in. Now, I don't know if the entire hair is like that. I think it might just be the front part. The back part could be a netting where all the hairs were on it and then they just glue it. But I think hand punched is way better than the netting technique. So I wouldn't doubt it if it's not hand punched on the top, but here on the chin where you can see up close, you can see that it's hand punched and it looks excellent. Otherwise you'd see a little netting there, which would look ugly. But the hair looks fantastic, just like the one third. And I may even uh, fluff this out a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. You know, it was in a box. But the hair looks great. You know, and it's really just on the chin like he has a beard. And then on the top part where there's the ton of hair. And there's a little bit of hair as well on the ears. So check out the ear. Let's check out those eyes. So they're not glass eyes per se but they do look extremely well done. I think they're the same style as Marcus. You know, they. I don't think ECC started doing really glass eyes until like they're Jason and Freddy. Previously, they've always done, this looks like a sculpted eye that's super glossy and just painted extremely well. Similar to the Reaper bust, you know, that looks extremely good, but it's not glass. Uh, I think this might be glass because his look extremely good in person. They look like glass, this one does, but I don't think the lichen is glass, but it looks, you know, like 98% as good as glass because it's painted so well. And it's really just green. There's some vein work. If you look, it's hard to see in camera, but there's some like little red veins that are painted. And then there's the two black little irises. Here's the nose. Zoom back out. Obviously this is not something you're gonna be looking this close at. You know, I don't look at something that close. I like to look at it about right here. I think this is the money shot, you know, standing about two feet away. Cause in general, most statues don't look good if your face is right next to it. I think you wanna stand about a foot away, you know, one to two feet. Uh, otherwise, you'll see a lot of imperfections and it, it's just weird looking. So I like to stand about this height away and I think it looks amazing. So I definitely think it was worth the 2,500 and it is an incredible bust. You know, it's extremely impressive. I think it's definitely one of my favorite busts now. Uh, you know, I would say really those three and this and 
my two Scorpion and Sub-Zero MKs and got all my Queen Busters. Those, I have so many amazing busts and this is just another one on the list. But it's a very welcome bust in my collection. So we're gonna throw it right there. Granted, I would love to have it this high because I think that height is actually really good. But unfortunately, I don't have space to put it really elsewhere. It's gonna have to go there. The only other spot that could truly potentially work is if I got another glass shelf, put it to the left of that, did it on the glass, and then I'd have to change this shelf out and do another Stuva and then a, you know, get rid of that. It'd be so much work and I'd have to move Shazam somewhere. And I really want Shazam part of my league. You know, Buddy was saying if I could do that, that'd be amazing. Unfortunately, I just don't have another spot for Shazam. And so uh, the Lycan bust will go right there. But I still think it'll look absolutely fantastic right there, especially having the one third. So you'll notice that darkness is not right here. Uh, I was able to, let me basically just show you. So I pushed my couch forward. Uh, by pushing it forward, uh, and yes, I can still recline completely. It does not hit that shelf, I checked. Uh, but basically, I scoot the couch forward. It doesn't block anything. It actually gets me better viewing angles of the entire statue room, to be honest. I'm a little bit closer to the TV, which I really like. And then I put darkness there. However, I don't know if I want darkness there. I might do Leatherface. And I'm going to move that Terminator bust right there instead. And then if anything, I'd get a poster right there. But the way I'm looking at this, I'm like, okay, I got Jason, Freddy, Myers. I'm like, Leatherface should go right there. Because PCS just showed off the concept of that Leatherface. And I, I think I might just make a separate video on that. But I think it looks phenomenal. And it comes with an additional bust. And I wouldn't be able to fit that bus inside of a Stuva, but this is a little bit wider than a Stuva. So I could probably fit a bust right here. And I just think it'd be cool having Leatherface there. So I might return Darkness, and if I do, it'll be right there, and then Ghostface would be the middle. And then I'd have Leatherface right there with a some sort of Horde Leatherface prop or something behind it. And then I'll move the Terminator to the left, because it's basically inside Horde. And Horde needs to end right here, and then we go into Terminator Alien Predator. But I am extremely excited for the PCS, Leatherface, and Ash. They're definitely coming to the collection. Uh, so let's go ahead and move the Lycan out inside the Stuva, throw the lights on, and see how it actually looks. Alrighty, folks, so here's a Lycan bus inside of a Stuva, which is 19 inches deep, 23 inches wide. I'm about 34 inches in height space, so I have quite a bit of space above his head. I don't necessarily need to raise it unless I just want it to get more height because uh, as you can see underneath I don't need a lot of height space for the prop replicas. Uh, so I may consider raising it two notches. Uh, let me know what you think should I raise it. Uh, but here it is. Ideally I would yes love to put it on top of a glass shelf. Unfortunately I just don't have the width space. Having the Justice League here, got air purifier and I need to be able to open that door. So there's just no space to add an additional 16 inch wide glass shelf to put it to the left of the Lycan one third, uh, if only. Uh, but for now, unless I decide to somehow move Shazam and take out that shelf into a different shelf, it will stay here like this. Uh, but I still think it looks great. I can still see the Lycan bus very well, see everything that I enjoy about it. I put the C away uh, just right here. And if you wanna see what this says, you can just Pause that and read it. I'm going to read it later. I am curious. When did this 2014 frick? Although that just might be when the movie came out. I do know this is quite an older piece, though. At least five plus years it's been out. But here it is. Now, I'll most likely just move darkness back here to the left side so I could do the Texas Chainsaw Massacre leather face over there. I just think that would look better. And then ghost face would be here. But here is Lycan in all its glory. I am 100% happy, 10 out of 10, looks freaking amazing. Another grail to the collection. And it finally completes this line of having Lycan bust one third, Marcus one third bust. And then of course I even got the entire HCG line, the one fourths with two prop replicas. So as you can see, I'm a huge Underworld fan. I absolutely love those movies, I really do. And you know, my wife as well, she's a huge fan. So this has always been a dream of mine to collect these. When I've seen collectors display these, I was like, oh my gosh, I want that so bad. So today I can finally check that off my list of things I've always wanted. So it's finally complete.
someday I may, you know, be able to do the glass shelf to the left or the like, and I'm just not sure how I could do it now unless I, you know, like I said, I, I'd have to remove Shazam. And then, you know, scoot that to the right to allow the bus to the left. So we will see. Otherwise, hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.